Hello everyone, uh, let's look at the subject thin film interference. So we've got a lot right here, but hopefully I can explain it well. Um, so first, let's look at our problem. Uh, for A, calculate the minimum thickness. So we're looking for T in meters. Um, let's see. Of a soap bubble film. So N equals 1.33. N equals 1.33, so a soap bubble, so basically this, that will result in, okay, let's erase that, result in a strong reflection, okay, in here, strong reflection, so you'll see why I say this. Okay, calculate the minimum thickness of a soap bubble film, n equals 1.33, that will result in a strong reflection in the reflected light if the film is illuminated by light of wavelength 602 nanometers. Wavelength equals 602 times 10 to the negative 9th meters. Again, oh, so that's part A. Part B, recalculate thickness. If it is on a glass slide. Okay. So let's draw that. This is our thin film on a glass slide. Like that. So it's the film. This is glass. And I'll try and walk you through what's going on. So n of glass equals 1.5. And a film equals the 1.33. Okay. So, very important to know that um, thin film interference revolves around phase changes. So, if phase change occurs, phase change occurs when going from so when from going from n low to n high that's it so that's right here no phase change no phase change for going from n high to n low so for example if we have a ray of light coming in like that, and this soap bubble is the thin film. We're going from air, so n equals 1, to n of film, which equals 1.33. So, during that transition, when we're going from low to high, there is a phase change, okay? So, let's just say that phase change and then how about when we go from the film back into air inside the bubble in that case we're going from high 1.33 back into air low so there's no phase change so in this scenario there is one phase change okay and the problem states that we want to calculate the thickness, the minimum thickness, of a soap bubble that will result in a strong reflection. So what does that mean? Strong reflection means we want constructive interference to occur. So in that case, we have this right here, meaning we will use this equation. Okay, so let's write that down. So for part A, we're going to use 2nt equals n plus 1 half times lambda. Okay, so thickness is what we're going to be solving for. n will always be the n of film. This is important to note. Always use the film uh, index of refraction. Lambda, that's the wavelength of light which we are provided with. 
and n. Because we're looking for the minimum thickness, we want this term to be as low as possible. So in that case, we're going to use n equals 0. Okay, so let's solve for t. Thickness equals 1 half lambda divided by 2n. Okay, so 1 half times 602 times 10 to the negative 9th divided by 2 times the n for the film, 1.33. So let's see what this gives us. So 602 times 10 to the negative 9th times 0.5 divided by 2 times 1.33. OK, so I get a very small number. Let's see what it is. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. OK, so I actually get 113 nanometers. That is the minimum thickness for a bright reflection, a strong reflection, for a soap bubble with this wavelength of light. So now let's focus on part B. Let's say we have a beam of light coming in from air, <coughs> and we reach the film. When we reach the film, there will be a phase change because we're going from n equals 1 to n equals 1.33. So there is a phase change. And then how about when we go from the film to the glass? When we go from 1.33 to 1.5, there will also be a phase change. So now we have two phase changes. OK. And we're also looking for a strong reflection. Um, OK, so strong reflection means constructive. So let's look at our chart. Two phase changes, strong reflection. Okay, so that means we're going to be using this equation now. So let's write that down. 2nt equals m lambda. So now, this is the part we have to think about. We want the minimum thickness. So how do we choose what m will be? Here we chose m to be 0 because we still had this 1 half. We can't use 0 here, otherwise the thickness will be 0. So we have to use the next lowest number, integer 1. So m equals 1. So let's rearrange to find thickness. t equals n lambda divided by 2n. So 1 times 602 times 10 to the negative ninth meters divided by 2 times 1. Okay, so we get 301 nanometers. All right, so let us, let's actually make another example. Let's make a part C. So let's look at a soap bubble film on top of glass again. This is our film on top of glass, and we're looking for no longer a bright reflection, but a minimal reflection. So let's let's change this actually. So let's say we're, we need a pair of sunglasses, and we coat it with a thin film. Let's say the film is 1.33 or 1.38. So that is the end of the film, and we have a pair of sunglasses, so this is then end of glass still, 1.5. Okay, so this is a practical example where we want to minimize the amount of light. So from the air to film interface, we're going from low to high, so there's one phase change. And again, once we go in from the film to the class, there's another phase change. So that's two phase changes. And we're looking for the minimum thickness 
for a minimum reflection. So minimum reflection, whenever you hear minimum reflection, you should instantly think destructive interference. Okay. So we know that there's two phase changes and we want destructive interference. So we have to then use this equation. Okay. 2mt equals m plus 1 half divided by, or times lambda. Okay, so finding the thickness. Um, minimum thickness again, so we can make this 0 because we have this 1 half term. Equals 1 half lambda divided by 2m or, let's see. Uh, lambda divided by 4n. Might be another way that you've seen this written. So 1 half divided by 2 is 1 fourth, just like that. So we got 602 times 10 to the negative ninth divided by 4 times n, uh, which is the fan. We send as 1.38. So let's calculate this. Actually, I realized that I made a mistake right here. So let's just go back to this problem real quick. So we, may, we need to make sure we use the end of the film. So I should have used 1.33. So let's recalculate this. So 602 divided by... 2 times 1.33 and I get 2 I get 226 nanometers okay okay so let's get back to this problem let's take 602 divided by 4 times 1.38 so 4 times 1.38 and I get 109 nanometers. So this is the thickness of the film that's needed if we want to minimize the reflection of light on these pair of sunglasses. All right, so this is how you do thin film interfer interference problems. It's always helpful to just go ahead and look at the chart that you have here and see if you have one phase change or two phase changes and whether you want a strong reflection or to minimize the reflection. Alright, thank you for watching.